This painting is by David T. Alexander and was painted in 1990. That summer, the artist, a Canadian, made his first visit to Scotland and traveled mainly in the north and northwest. He didn't know the country or the names of the places and the features he was depicting, hence the rather prosaic title, Starboard Side Night Crossing. This artist was a wizard with color, and this was evident in the exhibition of his work held in Edinburgh sometime after that summer. My husband took a great fancy to this painting, and it now hangs in his study against the wall, and I look across to it from my desk and use it as an eye muscle stretching exercise during Zoom meetings. But it's one of these paintings you can look away, away, away into the distance in, and it's a marvelous sight. The only unnatural feature in the painting is the yellow lamp. All the color in the painting, apart from that, comes from the dark headland, the sea, the distant coastline, and above, a cloudy broken sky with just out of the painting there must be a big moon because it's lighting up the clouds and lighting up the sea. If it's the starboard side we're looking aft and that might be a wake behind you. I don't know where this is, I wonder. Um, I don't know all the ferries on the northwest coast. It could be the one from Uig out of Skye to Stornoway. But at any rate, he painted that, and I think it, it's actually a magic thing. Dark is never really dark with a moon and no light pollution. It's always bright in some way. These seas would have been very familiar to the early Celtic saints. They went out on them in their tiny boats, and I think it was incredibly brave. But they were rather surprising people, and they liked solitude. And looking into that painting, I'm reminded of a prayer of St. Columba. Alone with none but thee, my God, I journey on my way. What need I fear when thou art near, O King of night and day? More safe am I within thy hand than if a host did round me stand. <laughs> 